You're gonna go do the sea monsters. You're gonna weigh them in for us. Yep. Okay, get three weight, three weights. Oh snap! Is it drizzling? It's drizzling. Oh my gosh! Josiah, will you find our umbrella? Shoot. We're not complaining though, Josiah, are we? We're dancing. <laughs> our pig food scraps. Let's see: cabbage, banana peels, uh, pineapple edges. Old kale. We're gonna get my hair extra today. This is our last time feeding them, those ladies. Skim milk. Look who's yeah. taking over the turkey poults. It's actually pig butchering day tomorrow. We're all helping out. Gonna make sure we have one more check to make sure we have everything we need. Yeah. Hey, how'd all that grain spill? There's a hole in it, and I, and I lifted it up. Oh, uh, yeah, you didn't know about that. We've been leaving it outside because it got punctured. Papa, I need another bag of chicken, I mean, turkey grain. Oh, okay. Wait, is, is this, is Not, that, is that almost empty? It's like almost okay. almost empty. Like, We're, it's only like this full. And quickly Help him do it. Josiah. Oh, good. That was good enough. Breakfast posse. We're gonna also check and see, make sure the Everflow water is still going 24 hours later. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. I was gonna do a count. Hold on. How many did we let out? One, two, three, four. Let's just kind of count. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, there's 32 plus a goose, and somebody's dead in the back. Can you go get that dead bird, Gideon? That's handy to have a little guy. We could yeah, open the hatch. Balance. We can open the hatch if you don't want to do that. This could be bad. Cause I don't know how long this bird's been in there. <laughs> wow. This was probably just a couple days old. It's dead. Don't want to feed that to your animals though. It's probably rotten. Oh look, it's still working. Good deal. Yes. Hey, we'll get it to you guys. Look at you carry that big bucket. They've almost got, that's pretty much compost. Look, two eggs in the new compost bin. Thank you, my man. Right next door to the chickens, a pasture that we planted after pigs. Pigs converted this from a garden to a pasture. And what do we have? We have lamb's quarter. We didn't plant that, but that's coming up. But what we did plant is clover, fescue, orchard grass, and look, I'm excited about this, alfalfa. I don't think we sowed this. I couldn't identify it. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, but the, the cows like it, the sheep love it. Hey, the beautiful one. Hey. What's on the agenda today? Well, I wanna see what the rain is gonna do, and I need to get... <laughs> you don't have an eight inch potting. Oh, you can pot those up. I could pot them up. But you're just wanting to just set them out. I just wanna get them out. Um, Look how much growth out of a two inch block. Yeah. Um, I need to get these out. So you need to get Mama? those out. Why is your tray and broke? It's okay. Um, and then I want to get these flower, the flowers that I have in here still are going to go around that. The Mama, house. but not the board. Yeah. The flower board doesn't break. Cool. Oh, okay, good. This is the board. Oh, okay. All right, you got everything packed? Not Feed for the pigs, water for the ewes. Fat hens and Jonah got our numbers. We're at just we're at three pounds average uh, Industry standard 3.2. So we're uh, only a hair behind and I'm, I'm thinking that's because our chickens are actually free to roam so they burn more calories and They're soy free. So I think we're doing really good Look at that centipede man All right you guys ready? I gotta move these fat hens up this steep hill. It's one of the hardest moves on the farm. It's gonna be a good morning workout. I gotta go zigzag up the hill. It's easier than going straight up it. All right, free the birds. Here they are. Here, 
watch me for dinner. They're in the shed. They want me for dinner. Yeah, they will. You better be careful about laying down in there. Oh, this is weird. Last time. We're not feeding them tomorrow morning because we don't want them to have cool billies going into uh, butchering. Yeah, I'm going to ride a pig. We appreciate you gals. Yeah. We really do. We appreciate you converting our food waste into just beautiful sausage, ham, bacon, pork chops. Tenderloin. Eagle and bacon. Yeah. And don't you like, look Gideon, don't you like the composition of sausage especially? Yeah. Look how, look how rounded. That's a skim milk. That's a skim milk pig right there. It's be delicious. It's, it's hard when you have just two pigs and you come out here and feed them every day and you enjoy them, you pet them and you, you make sure you, you care for them and give them fresh ground and um, make sure they're getting enough to eat. And then you have to end it. I'll help you guys. But actually, I would have it no other way than me ending it. Insist, I need to feel the weight of that responsibility I need to take that on. I need to feel the weight of that sacrifice. I don't need to trust anybody else uh, to do it anymore anyway. I mean, in the beginning, you just want it to get done nice and clean, humane. So you, you, you have other people do it and teach you. But then, as soon as possible, you get that weight on your own shoulders. So tomorrow I'm going to take a couple of lives. Every day something dies so that we can live. Tomorrow it's these guys, gals. Oh, can I jump to you? It's going to be a bittersweet moment. Sure. Oh. Good jump. So here we're going to need, we're going to come up with a tractor. Tractor's going to need a chain. Josiah, do you know if a chain ever got put in the tractor? And again, barrel they have to put in there. I want to catch their blood too. I want to catch their blood in a um, feed pan. Some humans use that, but uh, it's food. But we're not gonna. But we are gonna capture it. Let's bring out a bucket uh, with some water in it and pour the blood in it, and we'll, we'll fertilize where they are in memory of them. We'll have a greener spot here in memory of them. And basically, they'll live on forever in the green grass. Bye, gals. Thank you. Feed pan. As soon as we get home, get our plastic feed pan. Okay. Get a bucket. Say, get one bucket full of water and one, one bucket with no water in it. Okay? Water buckets and put it in our, our tractor bucket. Okay. Maybe we'll do that together. Let go, see. Another centipede. I like to see the wildlife out. Next, this is where we come, this is where we started with the luchadors. This grass is fully recovered. They're way over there, but they're not at the end. But that's okay. We'll skip it in the sp spring. You gotta skip paddock sometimes because you just can't keep up with it. So we'll skip it, mow it and it'll level it all out. Hey Beck, we got the pigs fed last time. Oh wow. It's kinda, yeah, it is. kinda emotional. Aww, did you cry? No. <laughs> Gideon was too interrupted <laughs> for that. Life goes on, buddy. Right? With Gideon around. Yes, it does. <laughs> yep, I couldn't get too caught up in the emotions. <laughs> all right, it's misting. I gotta move the luchadors. So maybe you can do minerals later. I will do them when it stops yeah. raining. Really, they would knee move tomorrow but I don't want to do that tomorrow because um, it's gonna be we don't need any extra chores tomorrow how do we do that I hope you get some rest because I'm waking up at five in the morning to start that fire come with you me. gonna go out there with me no go out there as long as it's not raining <laughs> just kidding Papa. Papa. you fair weather farmer no uh, 
It's just we you have your appointment today, and I don't want to look like a yeah. dirty farm person. I know. We, I we better town. get going. Let's milk early. I already my have appointment. to wear shoes that are toes closed toed because my toes have dirt all in them. Okay. I need to buy a scrub brush for my feet. My for going to town. Hey, I these mean, farmers got to go to town every once in a while. My fingernails are so gross. No matter how many times I scrub them, it just yeah. This right. is not the time to look like a town person. Oh, <laughs> Okay, this grass, we're wanting to get off of it anyway. It's, it's, uh, it's past its peak. And so it's not gonna have as much nutrients as younger grass. That's ready, let's do it. We're gonna drag it with Sally. You guys ready? Big move, big move. Look how excited they are. Primo grass right there, guys. Primo grass, primo. Time that perfect. Oh man, that wasn't gonna hit. I thought that was gonna hit, so I stopped. You guys sit here, watch that. Tell me if it's gonna <laughs> hit, and I'm gonna pull it by hand. The feed pan is just to catch it. The pig's down low, that's just easier to catch than in a bucket. We've got all our knives, temperature gauge. Mr. Brown, let's test the tractor. Mark fix the alternator. Let's just double check, make sure it's charged. Woo! We're gonna need the tractor. We'll take these gambrels. Don't ever touch back there. Okay. It'll tap your finger. No, don't ever. You gotta be very careful around a tractor. Got the gambrel. Hey, Jonah. Jonah did poke his head out. He's doing the first edit today because I gotta go to town. Hey, how'd the first edit go? Oh, good. Good. Hey, do you know where the chains are? Yeah. They weren't where they're supposed to be. Did you see our office? No. You wanna go look at it? Yeah. All right. You got shovels? Yep. All right, we're gonna um, work on this scalder. Make sure it's safe. Jonah, you got it out here and established. That's good, thank you. We're gonna actually move it away from the logs okay. and get it out here in the open. Uh, we're gonna actually stack two blocks. Well, we're gonna have six blocks. Put these on there, you'll see. You guys will see. Let's uh, get to work. We're gonna level it because that's not quite level. So let's get to work on that now. All right, we got it perfectly level. See how we turned our blocks sideways? Stacked them on each other. Put four, and that's very stable. Jonah, man, I need chains. We have some chains in here, but it seemed like we had longer ones. Oh look, you've done some work on your office, got some walls in. Good deal. See how that, I found that chain, it's too short. Okay, there's another one. I found that one too, do we not have any others than those? That one's too big, it's too thick. On the picky side, uh, like this. Uh, yeah, because I feel like we have a better chain. Yes. There it is, that's it. And what were y'all doing with that? A oh, sorry, tire swing? A tire swing. Okay, but it's missing a hook. That's picky. So I guess we can use the the hook on the gambrel. All right, we got our chain for carrying. Jonah was hoping this work. I don't think it's gonna work. Now that it's wet, this is super slippery. Pallets are good for scraping. How, how are we gonna get them around with 150,000 pounds of logs in our way? To the logs. Or couldn't we bring Sally? Well, no. Mm -hmm. could, yeah, we could bring Sally back here. Hey, he's convinced me to throw it, but that definitely works better with the camera. These are wet, waterlogged, and there's an electric fence right there. Just shoot it through that crack or something. Ready? Yeah. Nice. Yes. And I just realized we're probably getting sea monsters tomorrow morning too. And fat hens, fat, well, they're gonna chicks at this moment. But they will get bigger. Yeah. I think that'll work, but this pallet, uh, we can't flip it, because look, that's the bottom. 
Okay. It needs to be replaced though. Let's 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 replace that pallet. Some nails sticking up. That'd be as safe as possible. How's our water over here, Jonah? Yep, you can cut that. Better pallet on top. Jonah, you gonna rinse it? Yeah. Nice. Teddy, I got you something for why we milk. <laughs> Crazy dog loves bananas. You love bananas? Ain't nobody ever seen a dog like a banana. Give him a little work, got, a little, got it in his pill, he can work it out. Oh, there he goes. He must have just ate, he's not too hungry. Oh, you better eat it before that cat does. Be your best friend. The old man's just rubbing on him. That's funny. You bring out the best in me by your side. I'll forever be with a Okay, we got fat hens coming tomorrow. We got sea monsters coming tomorrow. We kind of need these brooders. This was to be a small brooder. That would have been perfect. I designed it to build a brooder, but right now we got storage there until we build some shelves. You guys might need to go out. I'm kind of voting you guys go out today. We'll see what everybody thinks. Thank you, Lily. Next up, Phyllis, we'll miss you. Okay, you gonna give her two and a half scoops? Okay, I need to look for this one. Hey, this is our last time milking Phyllis, pretty much. You gonna miss it? Kind of. It'll be nice to have a break. It's exciting. We get a little break. The, the pig, two pigs are gone tomorrow. One less cow to milk tomorrow. It's the ebb and flow that keeps us from yeah. burning out, isn't it? Oh, oh my. Well, we won't be getting as much manure for the compost, will we? <laughs> Without her. As we take in this. I gotta ask Jonah and you something. Yeah? So, there's chicks coming probably tomorrow. What's today? Wednesday. So if I emailed them yesterday, they replied they, saying they packed them. Did they mail them though? He was packing them. So oh, um, they could come tomorrow Friday. But what if they come tomorrow? Come. We don't have a brooder. So uh, I'm voting we put the turkeys out. Come. It's rainy-ish. So we could put the chicken track. We could put them in the chicken track. I'm voting we get all oh, inside their net. Idea. We'll put the shaw out there, the turkey shaw. And then we'll keep them in the chicken tractor for a couple of days. And then we'll open the door to the chicken tractor. We can just kind of transition them to it. I have another thought. And if we get them out today, sorry, what was your thought? Um, you know that plastic booter? Mm hmm We could put the fat damn chicks in there. We could, we could, we could put the fat chicks in there. <laughs> fat chicks. <laughs> but, uh. The fat hen chicks. I don't know. We gotta get the turkeys out anyway. Hmm. I don't really want to set up another brooder. Do you? No. Okay, Let's, I like the chicken tractor idea. Let's just do that. Yeah. We are outside the, what is it? The orthopedic? oral surgery. Oral surgery. If you guys have been watching a while, you know we had to pull some teeth. Mm-hmm. Uh, couldn't afford implants at the time. Are now working on implants, but they had to like, do a bone graft. Widen my They had to widen your jaw. gum Gum. Area. And That's then we just got another scan. Yeah, that was four months ago when we did the surgery. It was a little over four months. And now we're to the place where he can actually put the implants in and some more, do a little bit more bone graft. At the same um, time. At the same time. And then he'll let them... Um, heal and hopefully the bone will continue to grow and then he'll actually place the posts in a couple months after that and then you'll be able to get your crowns that means i could be eating steak By the end on the, the left year. side of my <laughs> mouth within a year yeah this afternoon jonah and josiah have been hard at it they got the turkey shawl set up they got the turkey system set up minus the chicken tractor 
Looks like the boys did good. The sheep and the calves are up there in the upper lane. It's only 10 after four. We'll see why we won't be able to do this. Oh shoot, we need to do a few more things for the pigs. The boys did a great job up there. Jonah, you did a great job up there. Josiah did a great job up there. You guys ready to move the turkeys first up? Let's move the turkey, chicken, chicken tractor over there. Yeah. And if that all goes well, we'll go get the turkeys. I need two strong fellas to grab the other end of that. Can y'all lift it up? Yeah. Good. Look at that T-bird. Yeah, they're more than ready to go, aren't they? Teddy, are you in my way? Yes. Okay, so should we put them in the door or should we open the hatch? I, I was just contemplating that and I don't know. <laughs> more could do it if we open the hatch. Put it gently, gently. Hey look, they're starting to get more comfortable. Picking at the grass. They'll eat so much grass, guys. I am the apron wearing permaculture chicken ninja master, not the T-bird master. So I'm gonna play it safe. We're gonna orient them. So we're gonna orient them in this. We're just gonna give them some, a couple days. It's rainy. This will keep them out of the rain. Let's do it for two days. And then, and then we'll open this during the day. What do you say? Yeah. Or is that gonna throw them off when we remove this completely? Like it was called like the about everything Hey, I feel good about that. Me too. You feel good about it? Yeah, it feels great. Yeah. All right, it's Lily, get down here and sit down, and we'll get over good. there. Okay, guys, one more thing. Hey, oh wait, did you get wood? Dry wood? Yep. That's okay, what about right what about? Here. Oh, that's that's green wood. Hey, what about uh, starter logs, Jonah and Kenlin? Okay, he he, he put it here. I asked him to put it in the barn. But he forgot, I guess. Okay, we got Kenlin. We got. And we got dry wood. Okay, let's put it all under this and keep it off the tank and we're going to get this heating. The plan is to heat that up tonight slowly with this. That will not get it up to, I think we're going to try 185 for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's what Ben was saying. We're going to try Ben Holler method. Um, so that will start it. We'll start the fire in the morning. This will start getting it warmed up. Make sure you don't get the one that has the tractor battery on it. I'm working on it. Okay. I think it's this one. We have two buckets, Mom, for when we're done. These have been washed out. And Should we put a lid on we'll put one pig in one when we're done and one pig on that one. What, you couldn't reach? I'll you, couldn't, drop corn. you couldn't reach? Okay. We've got a clamp on here. Jonah, where'd you find this clamp? This is awesome. Device, actually. Well, I like the mobile vice. <laughs> so, listen to him correcting me. That's good. So we got it connected right there, and then we got it vice grip <laughs> holding this. Keep it, keep it from falling down in there. There goes nothing. Wait, mom. We'll see if it starts up. bubbling. Tomorrow, this is fine. We'll start the wood. We'll start the fire tomorrow. But then, as us after we start it, we're moving this. The tarp's getting out of here. The wood it needs have, to go to the barn. Do we have paper and kindling for you to start that in the morning? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, saw, the kindling's on the porch, isn't I it? We have we'll kindling. Paper, we have starter logs. Cart, cardboard. What about paper and a lighter? Uh, I have it all at the house. I'll make up a kit for you. Thank you. Is it bubbling? Yep. You see bubbles coming off of it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a guard of the heat plants. I think it is bubbling, right? <laughs> How appropriate. I cannot believe this ribs. This is a party. <laughs> this is a good celebratory meal going into the butcher tomorrow. Oh my word, my, my mouth is watering. There's two. Ooh, oh, and with coleslaw and like three. baked no, beans. Lily's already got it. She's figured it out. Jonah's got it. Not excited about the ribs, Mr. Brown? Josiah found it. Rebecca found it. You guys see this? There we go. 